I feel it's become more, it's, it's gone become a lot more widely recognised. Um, I think the, back in the early days certainly, it was predominantly black. And being that it was like the voice of the black people, that would make sense. But uh, more and more, but it's the voice of it's this, it's the voice of freedom. It's a it's a it's a it's a music of of oppression. It's a music of struggle. Now this is something that can relate to everyone, and that was certainly something that drew drew me into it. The conscious music, the conscious message, was the uh, was the drawing factor for for roots and culture music for me. Um, so now I feel that the scene is progressing, it's being become more widespread, there's more different nationalities are becoming involved. You've got producers and artists from Japan, India, all over Europe, on the Europe continent. It's, uh, it's, it's a really big scene and becoming more and more popular. Um, the music has become a lot more digital nowadays with the, the software that's available. There's, you have DJs and producers that can just be in the bedroom making music. Um, the accessibility to instruments and instrumentalists, musicians, um, isn't always easily available. So now with all the software, a lot more people are able to make digital music. Um, so yeah, the, there's a different aspect to the sound of it than it was back in the original days, which was more the emphasis on real instruments. Um, so in that sense, yeah, it's definitely progressed with technology. It, I think that's just a natural thing that happens when something evolves. Um, yeah, but the message is still the same. The message is still unity, love, peace.